Okay, you're in George? Yes. So how long have you had to pay 50 baht extra? Oh, this condition now is not comfortable. Yeah, they're always from the, uh, from the old airport until now. Okay. Two oh, airport, good. both airport the same, similar. Okay. Similar. Yeah, okay, now what they're doing, it's all ready to go. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. And then... The next one is... What? 50. Just 50. 50. Yes, 50 baht. This one, 55. Next one, 50. The and blue then, one? Yes, the blue one, 50. Yeah, thank you. Oh, there's a tuk tuk. Hey. Right, you get Goodbye! Thank you. Day one in Thailand. We've just gone and had some breakfast and Daddy and George have had a nap because we're pretty tired. Our hotel room is a mess. <laughs> This is one of the main differences with traveling with George now than when we very first started is the fact that he can move around. So we have to try to, you know, move everything or try to avoid putting stuff on ground level, keeping zips closed. This is his cot, go to see the holiday in. We call it the prison, banged up in Bangkok. Today we're going to retrace our steps. When I say our, I mean mine and Nathan's because when we first met, we met in the States and then the first travel that we did together was actually Thailand. We did Thailand for a month, then Cambodia for a month, then Vietnam. So today we want to go and, you know, retrace and walk back and have a look at the places where we first um, came to. Do some laundry because we desperately need laundry. Got to get pretty creative to keep George occupied now. So we're going to have a, a crawl off. We have crawl races. Hello. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let's race. Come. Okay. Ready? Ready? Go. George, you've gone in the wrong direction. Quite a late start to the day. We're leaving at 11.45, which is nice and relaxed for us. We're on holiday. Exactly. What, Mrs. Peterson? Mrs. Peterson? People are really friendly and big fans of George. George! <laughs> <laughs> See? <laughs> How are you? They love Western babies. <laughs> but they're really, really friendly, so it's quite nice. Big smiles attract big smiles from babies, don't they? We are in a supermarket that we found in a mall. We're just trying to get some baby powder. But there's no... There's some that have got English translations, but... Yeah, it's massive. Absolutely massive. There was a security tag, but George has just got it off. <laughs> hey, but they've got Heinz if you want some egg custard, George.
new walkway. This one definitely wasn't here when we were last here. It bounces when you move, which is a little bit freaky, but it's all good. And it links you from one side of the road to the other road and then lots of the malls. Maybe it's to try and keep people off the streets because traffic is pretty chaotic. Did you see that one just was Coca-Cola? found a supermarket and they have cakes for dogs. Next level. Everybody had a rough night next door, including our neighbours, we think. George, I don't know what's going on, just wouldn't sleep. Um, so we've only had a few hours sleep. Just kept crying and crying and crying. Um, so me and Daddy were taking turns, you know, going up to the crib and picking him up, trying to rock him, stroking his back, putting him in bed with us at the end of the, because we just didn't have the energy left. Today is the first day we're gonna take the pram out around Bangkok. Yesterday we carried George all day in the baby carrier. The roads are quite chaotic and a lot of the walkways is that sky bridge that I showed you in the video. So we'll see how we get on today. Every single mall in Thailand has got a metal detector and a security guard. There's not that much to do in Bangkok, to be honest. Um, it's a big drink scene, it's a big party scene and a shopping scene. There's a lot more malls than the last time we were here. So we've looked on TripAdvisor this morning and we found that there's some play areas or some playgrounds for children. So we're going to head to one of those today for George. Had him run himself ragged, interact with some other children. He should be in a mall, I think. Um, so we're heading there now and hopefully tire him out today. That's our mission so that we can have a good night's sleep. <laughs> currently in the toilets of one of the main malls which is called Gay Sewing Village and I just want to, <laughs> wouldn't normally film in the toilet but I just wanted to show you the toilet because I've only really seen these in Singapore and Japan and so you don't, you can use the toilet really if you want to but it'll blow dry your hoo hoo here and you get a little sprinkle wash, you can change the temperature of the water or your seat, pim pim. Granddad Pete has arrived. Right. Look at the thoroughgoods together.
think everyone's going to sleep well tonight after that afternoon. Just left the mall and it's raining. 